Good morning. Um, today we're going to uh, evaluate a limit. It's the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the square root of 5x squared minus 2 divided by x plus 3. Um, the technique in evaluating this limit is we're going to divide the uh, numerator and the denominator by the highest power of x in the denominator, which is x to the first. So I'll do that. We have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the square root of 5x squared minus 2 divided by x divided by x plus 3 over x. Um, we'll take care of the denominator first. Uh, then we'll come back and, and address the numerator. So we get the limit. Basically, I'm just going to decompose this fraction into two and simplify. The limit as x approaches negative infinity of uh, the square root of 5x squared minus 2 divided by x divided by x over x plus 3 over x. Um, x over x is, of course, just 1. So uh, now our issue is getting this x right here in the uh, top denominator under the radical sign. We can do that by Making sure we can do that by writing the square root of 5x squared minus 2 over uh, the square root of x squared divided by 1 plus 3 over x. Now, uh, it might not look so. You might think, well, the square root of x squared is x, so I haven't changed anything. But here's where we have to use our brains. I've actually changed the function as it's written uh, now. Um, as x approaches negative infinity, this x goes to a negative number. But as x approaches negative infinity, the square root of x squared goes to a positive number. So in order to compensate for that change that I just made, I'm going to multiply by a negative 1, or just write a negative sign right there. Um, and that will take care of that issue. Uh, you can put that negative wherever you want to really put it. Um, that looks good to me. <laughs> so uh, we have the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative, I'm all right, the entire numerator over um, uh, under the radical. And I'm also going to write, uh, go ahead and decompose the fraction because I don't want to run out of room. So I have five x squared over x squared minus 2 over x squared. It's all under the radical over 1 plus 3 over x. Do a little canceling. x squared over x squared is, of course, 1. So we have a 5 left. So now, uh, why not? I'll recopy it. Uh, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of negative square root of 5 minus 2 over x squared divided by 1 plus 3 over x. So now we'll take the limit as x goes to negative infinity. Uh, as x goes to negative infinity, 2 over x squared goes to 0. 3 over x goes to 0. So we're left with 1 and the square root of 5 in the numerator. So the limit as x goes to negative infinity of the square root of 5 uh, x squared minus 2 over x plus 3 is negative root 5. And 
people like boxes, so I'll box the. Sorry. 